back by popular demand, I have been asked many times to continue on with my book review series. And so in this one, we are going to be going over my review of God vs. Government by Nathan Buznitz and James Coates. So in this review, I'm going to give you a general overview of the book, what I liked about it, what I disliked about it, um, my favorite quote from the book, as well as my difficulty rating and my overall rating of the book. So there's basically two sections of this book. The first half of the book is the story from Grace Community Church in California and also Grace Life Church, I believe is the name of James Coates' church in Canada. And the first half of that book is the stories by Nathan Buznitz from Grace Community and James Coates from Grace Life on what they were going through in the lockdowns that were being imposed by the government early on in the pandemic lockdown days. And then the second half of the book is sort of more theological and rational arguments for the decisions that they made by defying a lot of these government mandates and restrictions that were placed onto the church. This second half though, a lot of it was adapted from some of their sermons and Bible studies and things like that. So it doesn't necessarily read straight through like a book in the second half, while the first half does, it's much more of a chronological walkthrough of the events. So first, what did I like about this book? The first thing that I liked is the commitment to preaching the gospel that these men had in these tough times. Especially when you get to the story of James Coates, honestly, you can see his commitment to the gospel in that he was preaching to the inmates in the prison that he was locked in. He was preaching to the police officers who were arresting him, uh, government officials, and everyone in between was, they were getting part of the gospel while he was um, defying these government restrictions that were being placed on him. So that's the first thing. The first thing I appreciated was the commitment to the gospel. The second thing is that this book is really inspiring and convicting. The book was inspiring and convicting on the point of standing firm in the faith, in the face of persecution. The third thing that I liked about this book is the theology and the rationality that was used in order to make the decisions in the height of these situations. And they give you really well laid out thoughtful arguments from scripture and from rationality for all the decisions that they made. It's not some story about some rebellious hearts that don't want to abide by government laws just because they want to be in defiance and they don't care about keeping people healthy or anything like that. The theological and rational positions are really well thought out and they're conveyed well in the book. Fourthly, I liked the clarity of the arguments made in this book. So I appreciated the arguments themselves in the third point but fourthly, they were easy to understand. They were clear. I really love specifically the argument that they used when they pointed out heroes in the Bible, including Jesus, not obeying government regulations of their time and reasons why it's okay for us to also do the same in our lifetime. Next section, what did I dislike about this book? Honestly, there was not much that I disliked about this book. It was a really good book. I really enjoyed reading this book. I would say though, towards the end of the book when they're getting into more of their theological stances and rationality behind the decisions that they made, it did get a little bit repetitive, which is understandable because like I said, they adapted this part from sermons and Bible studies and things like that. So there was quite a bit of overlap in some of the arguments that were made and things like that. But that's not to say that I didn't appreciate the arguments and agree with what they were saying in the second half of the book. My favorite quote is actually from the very beginning and it is on page 17. It says, the Christian life is not designed to be lived in isolation, but in community. Believers are members of the body of Christ. No part of the body can survive on its own. It requires fellowship with other members of the body to function, grow, and thrive. My difficulty rating for God versus government is medium. You do need to have sort of a moderate knowledge about Old Testament events and stories, COVID stats and policies, and also some theological terminology. And lastly, my overall ding rating for this book 
is going to be a 4.0 out of 5. Really good score, uh, one of the best scores I've given to date. I really enjoyed this book and I really have a much greater appreciation for James Coates, Nathan Busnitz, John MacArthur, and all the people who endured a lot of the ridiculous and unprecedented, in North America at least, uh, persecution of the church. So I really appreciate these men. I appreciate this book, and I really enjoyed it, and I very highly recommend it to you.